Hello everyone and welcome to Luxury. This is Golden Society. I'm excited to share some information with you guys so you can learn a little bit more about their project. I actually found them through Twitter. I reached out to them. This is a sponsored video. I just wanna let you guys know as usual, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And as usual, I'm also gonna be providing a link to their website, to their Twitter, to their Discord, so you have those readily available, as well as their gold paper, which is, in reality, it's their white paper, but it's very fancy, right? So it's the gold paper. And I reached out to their team. I had some questions. Unfortunately, we don't have an individual. They're very busy with getting everything ready to get launched, but they were able to set aside some time to send me over their responses. So I'll be reading through those. I have a series of questions and let's go ahead and get on into the first question, which was, can you tell us more about your project? And they went on to say, Golden Society Nodes, the first exclusive society focused on generating a passive secondary income stream. We felt challenged to develop a nodes as a service protocol that provides the utmost transparency and stable price growth while maturing as an investor's community and company. We accept no more than 120 new Golden Society members a day as node owners. And we have a hard cap for node owners that allows them to only create two nodes a day. We are a data-driven protocol. With our in-house data team, we actively monitor the usage of the platform. We have a forecasting business model to help us take calculated actions. By setting a hard cap on daily new admissions, we can make responsible and calculated treasury investments that have the most favorable and longest runway rewards for our investors. We believe this is the path for controlled scalability and income for the gold protocol and society. My next question that I had asked them, is your team doxxed or are they KYC'd outside of Discord or do you have plans to be? They said, yes, we are doxxed to our community with our faces and first names on numerous videos. We have done a KYC with Assure DeFi and are fully linked in doxxed to our mods. We have also done a few AMAs with cameras on with James Pelton and the Breadmaker. My next question was, why did you choose six months to lock the liquidity? We choose for six months to see how far we get with the project. After six months, we will prolong it by a year. How do you select the 120 new members and will that stay in place when Society Invites rolls out? The 120 daily limit will start when the node cap of 5,000 nodes is reached. That means that only 120 new investors will be able to create a node per day. This daily limit is dynamic and will grow by one with every 20 new nodes created. We will create a queue for people who are waiting to make a node. To keep them in line, they will be able to earn a small percentage as they are waiting to create a node. Question number five, do you have any plans for a hard cap of tokens for total supply someday? And they responded saying, I think you mean the number of nodes? Yes, we are planning to get rid of the Ponzinomics at some point. Instead, our investors will be having a share of the treasury. We are still working on this, how it will look, and how much the shares will be should be announced in the next weeks. Once someone is a member, can they buy as many nodes a day as they want? They said there is a node cap of two a day for every wallet. My next question was, what are your long-term goals? And they responded by saying, we are working on a lot of ideas right now. Here are some of them. Shares of an active treasury, a dApp that will show all the data we are working with, for example, how many people are claiming the number of nodes, biggest wallet number of nodes, basically more transparency to our investors. And that's what they were able to share with us so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull through just a little bit more here on their website. The Golden Society solution, we felt challenged to develop a nodes as a service protocol that provides the utmost transparency and stable price growth while maturing as an investors community and company. And they go on to talk about the 120 new gold 
society members to become a node owner day to day. And realistically, that is one of the biggest, most appealing aspects about this project. I have not seen any project that I've come across yet that has that degree of exclusivity, that degree of control into the space, but to also just make it very desirable from an outside perspective. If you get into the Golden Society, you're one of a lucky few, right? We're talking about only accepting 120 new ones on a day-by-day -day basis. That's a pretty powerful statement right there. In addition to that, you also kind of help alleviate from the fact of people getting in when the price is really low and them just buying a massive amount of these tokens, these nodes, the supply. And this was highlighted during that uh, series of questions that I had presented to them. They said that there is a node cap of two a day for every wallet. That really, really helps just make it a much more even playing field. And I understand that there will be people that are wanting to get in, but you have that waiting list feature. And if you get in, there's a little bit more opportunity that's there. Now, the drawback to this is that when you don't have a lot of people that are able to participate in the system itself, then that does cause very little daily volume. What's interesting is when I go back again to their list of uh, to my list of questions that I had to them is that even if you're in the waiting list, there is still a degree of activity that can take place while in there. This is a lot more information that we should be getting in the next couple weeks. But, you know, if you get in, you got that nice little extra privilege that's going on. As far as for the tokenomics goes, 50% goes into the rewards pool. 15% will go to the liquidity pool. That'll be locked for six months. 5% allocated to the whitelist pre-sale. 10% allocated to the team wallet, which will be locked for six months. 10% allocated marketing and advisors. And then 10% treasury to kick off the first investments. Safeguarding your investment at launch. How we are going to make sure your investment grows by days. We are not a whale protocol. We are here for the macro investors that like to have a continuous flow of passive income rather than green slash red candle chasing. What does that translate to? It means that, ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for a pump and dump type of project, something you can just get right on in there, make some quick money or lose some quick money and get out. I mean, you don't want to lose the money. Maybe you do. Maybe you're into that kind of thing. Hey, I'm not going to judge you. But more than likely, you're wanting to make money. Then you're not going to look for that here. The idea here is to not have this big jump in, splash in effect, or those whales, in essence, of what they're referring to, but to just make it a very nice, organic, consistent type of long-term, uh, fundamental, base-valued project. And I think something like that is going to be very refreshing it's going to be a new take on what we've been seeing with these node projects. And overall, it creates much less potential for a lot to end up dumping on the market. As we saw here, percentages that goes into a lot of these different aspects, locked liquidity, uh, etc. Making sure the liquidity is protected, very important. The invite only after 15 nodes, you will find a new feature just for you called society invites. This is one of the questions that I had asked earlier. This feature enables you to invite your friend into the society. When they use your personal code, they can bypass the daily node limit and join the society. So their tax system, claims tax. The first month, 50% claims tax. We have a claims tax of 50% for the first month. After that, this is going to be gradually reduced over the second month. The tax is split into 50% to the treasury and 50% to the marketing wallet. Sale tax. If you're not in the society, you don't own a node, you'll be taxed 40% on every trade you make. So that whole idea with the waiting list, I was kind of touching on with that. In the first week of the protocol launch, we will have a 40% sale tax inst installed Sorry, for every holder. After this week, the protocol will reduce the sale tax to 15% for society members. Tier 1 nodes, which are nodes 1 through 10, 
that'll be 15% sales tax. Then when you get to tier two for the next 10, the tax is actually gonna go up to 17.5, then tier three, 20%, tier four will be 30%. So the more nodes that you get in reality, yeah, you'll be making more in the tokens, but you're also gonna be taxed a little bit more. So there's a counterbalancing act that is taking place. You still come out on top, but it kind of slows that down a little bit. The tax is split into 50% to the treasury and 50% to the team wallet. Transfer tax, 50%. This is part of our anti-whale protocol. The tax is split into 40% to the vault, 40% to the team wallet, and 20% to the liquidity pool. And as was identified here, they're trying to create this nice compounding effect. As a society, we're going to take care of each other. We created a tier level system where leveling up on your nodes gets more challenging based on the higher tiers you're accessing. Find the tier levels below, which we had already broken this down. But these elements we will go ahead and touch on. You will need 20 token coins per node. You're also gonna, so not only are you gonna be having the tax to just identify this a little bit more, the sales tax will go up with each of these different node levels. But to create the nodes themselves, you will need more of the tokens. So for the first 10, you'll need 20 tokens. The next 10, you'll need 25. Then 21 through 40, you're gonna to need to have 30 tokens. 41 through, 40, uh, 41 through 80 nodes, you're gonna to need to have 45 tokens per node. Remember, all of this is per node. And then creating your 81st to the 100th node, you will need to have 50 tokens per node. As far as for the team, there's a little bit more of the background on them through the website itself. Gold Society is a protocol founded by a team of weathered C-level business people with a track record of more than 10 years in crypto. And then their current team consists of the CEO, there's one of him, one data analyst, one chief marketing officer, one CTO, that's the chief technical officer, one senior front-end developer, two back-end developers, four community moderators, one art director, and one community and project manager. And that's actually going to be it for my review. This is an introduction video for you guys. Remember, this project is getting ready to launch. You can find out more information over on the, well, inside of my description, but over on their Twitter account, inside of their website, and also in their Discord and if you have a series of questions, your Discord, sorry, their Discord, <laughs> I should rather say, hey, if you join them, then it's kind of yours too. You're part of the community, right? So if you go and join the Discord, that is going to be your best place to ask questions, in my opinion. And hopefully this was valuable information for you. Again, a very nifty idea, a new take on this that I have not seen. And if you guys are familiar with my channel by now, you should know that I've been talking with a lot of different node projects and really seeing how everyone's taking their own approach on this. If you're new to my channel, well, I hope you enjoyed yourself while you're here and feel free to subscribe. I would love for you to be a part of this community. We're actually getting really close now to 20,000 subscribers. And it'll be cool to have you be during that journey right there. Um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up like button. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Go do your own research, guys. If you hit that thumbs up like button, it does help this video for discoverability on YouTube. Click the bell icon. God bless, and I will see you in the next episode.